Hey yogis, thank you so much again for joining me here. Go ahead and lay down on your back. Put your uh, feet flat on the floor, bend your knees. Let your knees knock in towards each other. And as you do, your arms can either rest in goal post or you can um, have your arms right next to your palms are open. If your arms are in goal post, make sure that your shoulders feel okay. So if this doesn't feel good on your shoulders, just have your arms next to your palms are open. And then just close your eyes for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in. Notice your, na your natural inhalations and your natural exhales. And as you do, take a nice deep breath in. Feel into your lungs and your belly. And exhale, open out, open your mouth and sigh it out. And this sighing out is actually really, really beneficial. It just taps into your parasympathetic nervous system. So do this a couple more times on your nice deep inhalation through the nose. And exhale out of an open mouth. Actually let it go. Like just exhale out loud sigh out of your open mouth. And one more time, inhale, and exhale, and sigh out. And then just find stillness for just a moment. If your arms are in goal pose, just notice how the front of your shoulders are opening, the chest is opening. And then everybody, Take your fingertips towards the ceiling. Give yourself a big hug, so cross your one elbow in front of the other, and just kind of gently tuck your fingertips behind you so you find your shoulder blades. And as you do, can you now really round through the upper back and give yourself a really, really tight squeeze, so tight hug to yourself as if you know, it's your best friend, and you haven't seen your best friend for a long time. You're just giving yourself a huge hug. And breathe into that. Breathe into that space behind the heart. Let that space behind the heart rest on the floor while you really round your upper back. And then inhale. Send your fingertips back towards the ceiling again. Uncross your elbows. And then cross the other elbow in front, please. And do the same thing now. You might notice that you have a little bit more flexibility. So just kind of pick up your shoulders one at a time off the ground and sneak your fingertips closer and closer towards each other and on your back. You might even find your shoulder blades and just kind of draw the shoulder blades away from each other. Really a tight squeeze. Like you haven't seen yourself in a long time. Just give yourself a big hug. Just really, really loving yourself on this day, this moment. Your body has never been here before and it will never be here ever again. So just tight, give yourself a squeeze like your best friend you're never going to see again. You never haven't been together for a long time. And then release the arms all the way up. Take your elbows out to the side. Arms are open now. And then bring your feet close to each other. Drop your knees over to the left. Pause here for a moment. Let your right shoulder rest on the floor. So if you have to, you can always put a bluff underneath your knees so that the right shoulder stays on the floor. Inhale, come back to the center, drop your knees over to the right now, making sure that left shoulder stays on the floor. Breathe into the belly and then come back to the center. Now pick up your feet off the ground please, have your shins be parallel to the floor. Turn your palms down this time and then as you press through the right palm, take your knees over to the left. Take it only halfway, and then come back to the center, inhale, and exhale. Take it over to the right, just halfway. Make sure that shoulder stays, the opposite shoulder stays on the floor. Inhale, come back to the center, exhale, halfway to the left. 
Keep that right shoulder down, please. Press through that right hand. Inhale to the center. Now press through the left hand and left shoulder as you take your knees over to the right. And then just continue on this way, going side to side. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right. Only go farther, only if you feel like you're really flexible and your back is warmed up. Please don't force this. I don't want any herniated disc in this class. So if you can drop your knees over to the left without really injuring your low back, go as far as you want to go, but make sure that core is engaged. So we're not just dumping the legs over to one side. You're just going as far as the flexibility in your spine and your low back muscles allow you to go. Okay, so this is really, really super important. Don't go so far where you feel like you are forcing yourself to get there. Because if you can't come back up, that means you've gone too far. Inhale to the center, exhale to the left. Inhale to the center, exhale to the right and then come all the way back to the center, please. Put your feet flat on the floor. Your heels are close to your buttocks. Take your palms, right leg, arms next to you, palms are down. Take a nice deep breath in, press through the bottom of both feet to lift the hips off the ground. Take your arms overhead, let the top of your hands come to the space above your head. As you exhale, lower everything down at the same time. So can you make it, can you synchronize the movement so that the palms are touching the floor next to you as the hips come down. Inhale, press through the bottom of both feet to lift the hips up, lift the arms overhead. Exhale, nice and slowly, lower everything down. See how slow you can move through this. So really super slow. Take, you can even put a count to it. Maybe you're lifting for seven or eight counts and then lowering down for six, five or six counts. So really super, super slow. Close your eyes, move, move with your own breath. It doesn't have to be moving on my count or on my terms. <laughs> move with your own breath. Inhale and exhale. Last one, please. Inhale, lift the hips up, take the arms overhead and exhale, lower the hips down, bring the hands next to you. And then this time, turn the palms up and as you press to the bottom of both feet, lift the hips off the ground. So here, I'm gonna ask you to really tap on your butt to make sure that your butt is soft. We don't, we're not squeezing the hips up. Make sure the knees and the toes are pointing the same direction. So if your knees are splaying out, bring the knees towards each other, you're on train tracks. Imagine you have number 11 with your feet and with your uh, knees. Sque don't squeeze the butt, let the butt be really soft. And then now, press through the bottom of that left foot to lift the right foot off the ground. As you do, point the toes towards the ceiling and then do little pulses up. The reason I'm saying don't squeeze the butt is because I want you to really focus on using the low back muscles to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. And two more. And lower that right foot down Press through the bottom of right foot. Don't squeeze that right cheek. Take the left leg up towards the ceiling and then lift. You want to be using the strong back muscles as well as your quadricep, your thigh muscles to lift up. Not so much your hamstring and butt. And lift up for two and one and then lower the left foot down. Lift the hips up once again. Heel toe your inner, your feet together. So the inner edges of your feet are touching now. Take your knees wide apart from each other. Lift the hips up, keep the hips up there and then bring the knees towards each other. Inhale, 
Open the knees away from each other. Exhale, lift the hips up as you bring the knees towards each other. Inhale, let the knees open wide. Exhale, bring the knees towards each other. Inhale, open. Exhale, lift the hips up a little bit higher. Bring the knees towards each other. Inhale, open. Exhale, I know you're feeling this in the back now, in low back. Inhale, this is exactly what we're doing to strengthen all these muscles. Inhale, open, exhale, together. Last two, inhale, lift the hips up, bring the knees towards each other. Last one, Whew. I know you're feeling this. And then slowly bring the knees, bring the hips down, let your knees open wide. Take one hand on your belly, the other one on your chest. Take a nice deep breath in. Let all the muscles in your back relax for just a few moments. We're just getting warmed up here, everybody. So hang in there with me. We have the great things planned for today's practice. And then gently bring the feet back up, please. Roll over to one side and come up to your tabletop pose. My favorite, favorite all-time movement, cat-cow. I really believe that everyone should do this every single day. Inhale, lift the chest up, send the tailbone up. Exhale, pull the belly in, round the back. Any variation of it that you want to do is great. Inhale, lift the chest up. This really allows you to move the spine in its full articulation. Exhale. Round the back as you tuck the tail and tuck the chin. One more time, inhale. If you want flexible spine, definitely do this. Include this with your practice every day. You can even do it just as you are watching TV or playing with your kids or, you know, whatever. It's really easy. You can do it in jeans. You can do it in, you don't have to change into any sort of outfit <laughs> to be able to do this move. Inhale, lift the chest up and then exhale, pull the belly around the back and now neutralize this one. So neutral means there's a natural curvature of your low back. It's not completely a flat, flat back, but your belly is definitely engaged. Now, as you inhale, send the left leg back behind you and send the right leg forward. Pause here, turn the right palm in so that um, the palm is facing towards the midline of the body. Reach the left toes towards the back wall. And then can you imagine that you're reaching in opposite direction? Keep that core engaged, inhale. As you exhale, bend the left knee, tap to your right elbow under your body. Inhale, expand, Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach in opposite directions. Exhale, bring everything through the center of your body. Inhaling, reach. Feel yourself getting a little longer. Exhale, contract, and then hold it here. Can you really round the back? Drop the head down. Touch your knee to your elbow. Pause and then relax everything down. Inhale, neutral spine. Take that right leg back behind you, reach the right toes back, left arm forward. The left hand is facing the midline. Make sure your core is engaged. Pull the belly in and out. Inhale, reach in opposite direction. Exhale, tap the right knee to the left elbow. Inhaling. Really expand. Imagine someone's pulling your leg as the other person is pulling your hand. Exhale, bring it to the center. Nice and slowly, you want to do this with intention. Reach in opposite directions. Exhale, bring it, everything together. Couple more times. Inhale, really expand. Make yourself long. Exhale, bring everything together. Last one. Inhaling, reach, exhale, bring everything together, pause. Now really tap your knee to the elbow, really round your back, drop the head, 
tighten your tailbone, hold here, and then release everything back down to the center. Inhale, lift the chest up, send the tailbone up. Exhale, pull the belly around the back, tuck your toes under, lift the knees up, downward facing dog. Keep the knees bent as you lift the sit bones up towards the ceiling. Inhale, send the right leg up and back. Exhale, bring the right knee to your chest and then pause here, drop the head down. As you do that, step the right foot in between your hands. Spin the back foot flat. Inhale, reach your fingertips back behind you. So your rib cage is resting on top of the right thigh. Inhale, reach the left fingertips forward and then right fingertips back behind you, pause. Now keep the arms exactly as they are. Press through the outside edge of that left foot. Press through the bottom of the right foot and come all the way up to standing. Pause here for a moment. Pick up that left heel off the ground and then fold over to the right. So reach your right fingertips down towards the floor as the left fingertips reach towards the side wall. Keep the shoulders nice and soft. Inhale, bring both arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower the hands down to the floor. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhaling, float the left leg up. Exhale, bring the left knee to your chest and hold. Really round your back. So pull the belly in as much as you can. Keep the knee lifted to your chin or your forehead or your chest as high as you can. And then step that left foot in between your hands. Spin the back foot flat. Inhale, just come halfway up so that your rib cage is still resting on the left thigh. Reach the right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. Strengthen and lengthen that right leg back behind you. Press through the outside edge of the right foot. Press through the left foot. Keep the arms exactly as they are. And then lift the torso up. Pick up that right heel off the ground. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale and fold towards the left. As you do, reach the left fingertips towards the floor as if you can actually touch the floor and then right fingertips towards the left side of the wall. Inhale, come back all the way up, reach both arms up. Exhale, lower the hands down to the floor, step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Keep the knees bent. Inhale, send the right leg up and back. Exhale, bring the right knee to your chest, hold, pause here. Lift that right knee a little bit higher, closer to your forehead. Hold it. Three, two, one, and step the right foot in between your hands. Spin the back foot flat. Let right fingertips reach back, left fingertips forward. Stretch it out first, and then reach the left arm up. Left heel comes up, inhale, reach. Exhale and fold to the left, uh, right. Hold here. Take that right fingertips to your left wrist and then really stretch open that left side. Inhale, come back up to the center. Exhale, take your elbows out to the side, goal post. Twist your torso over to the right. Take a nice deep breath here and then open up your arms. Now, take your left fingertips down to the floor in front of the right toes and then reach the right fingertips up into your revolve lunge. Inhale and exhale. Lower the right hand down and step your right foot back. Inhaling, sending the left toes up and back. Exhale, draw the left knee to your chest and hold. Round the back, press through your hands, pick up that left knee a little bit closer to your chest. Maybe you can touch your jaws, maybe you can touch your chin, 
on your forehead, hold, three, two, one, and step your left foot in between your hands. Spin the back foot flat, left fingertips reach back, right fingertips forward. Hold, reach in opposite directions, and then pick up the right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Right heel comes up, inhale, expand first, and exhale, fold over to the left. Your left fingertips now can grab your right wrist and stretch out the right side. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come back up to the center, go post arms, and exhale, twist over to the left. Hold here for a moment, expand the arms out, tee out your arms, and then take the right fingertips now towards the floor. You can stay here and stretch it out to the left. Inhale, exhale, lower the left hand down, step the left foot back, downward facing. Now we have one more thing to our little sequence here. So inhale, right foot goes up, exhale, step the right foot in front of your, in between your hands. Spin the back foot flat, left fingertips reach forward, right back, hold, inhale, reach the right, left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Pick up the left heel, inhale and expand, exhale, fold to the right. You can grab your wrist if you want to and stretch out the left side. Inhale, coming all the way back up to the center. Elbows open up to the side. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, expand the arms. And then circle the left fingertips down to the floor. Now this time you're going to take off into revolve Ardha Chandrasana. Take a nice deep breath here, we'll Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. Really lengthen that left leg up behind you. Imagine you're pressing that left foot, left heel onto an imaginary wall. And then as you lengthen that left side, reach the right fingertips over your head. So you did this on your knees. We did the bird dog on our knees. This is the bird dog on your standing leg. Inhale, exhale, lower the right hand down, reach the left toes towards the back of your mat, come into your lunge, and step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhaling, send the left leg up and back. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands. Spin your back foot flat, right fingertips reach forward, left fingertips back. Hold here as you expand first, and then pick up your torso. Right heel comes up, exhale, fold to the left. You can grab the right wrist, stretch out the right side. Inhale, come up to the center. Elbows open up to, to goal post, and then twist your torso over to the left. Open up your arms. Reach down with your right fingertips. Take off into your revolved Ardha Chandrasana. Press your right heel onto an imaginary wall. Lift the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Lift that right hip up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower the left fingertips down. Reach the right toes to the back of your mat. Come into your lunge. And then step the left foot back. Downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath here. As you exhale, come to top of the push-up and come all the way down to the floor. All the way down to the floor. So come on your belly, please. Take your hands next to your chest. Bring the forehead down onto the floor. Bring your legs together so that you're forming one long leg behind you. And then as you press, through the top of your feet, press your pubic bone down and lift the chest up. So you come into the little cobra. We're going to stay here for a few minutes. So really press the top of your feet down. Don't let your feet come off the ground. Press your pubic bone down and lift the chest up. Now, can you pick up your hands off the ground, please? 
and then lift the chest up a little bit more. Your gaze should be about a couple of feet just in front of you. And then take your right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale and reach. And then switch arms, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, expand. And switch, right arm forward, left arm back. Keep pressing to the top of your feet. Don't let your feet come off the ground. And switch. Good. And one more time. Switch, right arm forward, left arm back. And left arm forward, right arm back. Now take both hands back behind you. Palms are facing each other. Take your hands to your hamstring. So you're kind of grabbing the your cheeks, your buttocks, and then lift the chest up a little bit higher. Nice deep inhalation. And then as you're ready, now you can pick up the feet off the ground. And imagine you're like flying through buildings. Superwoman, Superman, lift the chest up a little bit higher, make yourself super aerodynamic. Lift up as, you can, as much as you can. Keep the legs together though, your toes reaching back, nice deep inhalation and exhale. Now you can lower down, turn your head to one side and relax. Nice deep breath into your back and then turn your head to the other side and relax. Now bring your forehead back down to the floor, please. Your hands next to your ribcage. Legs are together. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Press the pubic bone down, top of your feet down. Inhale, lift the chest up. As you do, soften the shoulders down the back. Make sure the shoulders are not coming up to the ears so the shoulders stay away. And then this time, you're gonna press, keep your hands down and lift the legs off the ground. So keep the hands on the floor for right now. Lift the feet off the ground, lift the knees up if you can, and then take the legs wide apart from each other and lift your torso up the ground a little bit more as you lower the top of your feet down. Inhale, exhale, lower the torso down, bring the legs together. Inhale, lift the torso up, separate the legs from each other, and then lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, lower the torso down, bring the legs together. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Inhale, lift the torso up, separate the legs from each other, lower the legs down, lift the chest up a little bit higher into a higher cobra. Inhale, exhale, lower the torso down, bring the legs together. Good, one last time. Separate the legs from each other, lift the torso up, lower the legs down. You may notice that you can come a little bit higher each time. Inhale in, exhale, lower the torso down, bring the legs together and all the way down. Turn your head to one side and relax. And turn your head to the other side and relax. All right, we have one more thing to do here. So bring the legs back together again, please. Top of your feet down, pubic bone down, hands next to your chest, lift the chest up. Shoulders are soft away from the ears. Inhale. Now, same thing that we just did. So lift the feet off the ground. Keep the hands on the floor, please. And separate the legs from each other. Now, as you lift the torso up as high as you did last time, pause here for a moment. If this is good for you, you can stay. Otherwise, maybe you can bend your knees and lift the torso up just a little bit higher Maybe it feels good to drop the head back down. Take a nice deep breath here. Point your toes. Some of you may be able to touch your, the back of your head to your toes. I can't, but <laughs> you can go for it. 
and exhale, relax, come all the way down, bring one ear down, then you can windshield wiper your feet side to side, and turn your head to the other direction, windshield wiper your feet side to side. And then come all the way back down to the center. Bring your legs together one last time. Bring the top of your feet down. Take a nice deep breath here. Lift the chest up. Press your hands down. And then lift the feet off the ground. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Now lift the hands off the ground. Reach back towards your heels. And then as you lengthen the legs, can you lengthen the chest, then spine, lift up a little bit higher. So instead of thinking about going up towards the ceiling, can you think about making your spine a little bit longer? So your hands can go on your hamstrings like we did earlier, make yourself super aerodynamic, and then pause here. Now begin to pedal your feet, almost like you're swimming forward. So keep pedaling, pedaling, pedaling. If that feels good, you can extend the arms forward and do the same thing with the hands. And reach, reach in opposite direction. And this is the last one that we're doing on the belly. So go as fast or as slow as you want to, but we're gonna go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Beautiful, beautiful work. Bring your head down, brush your forehead on top of your hands, crocodile pose. If you like to, you can windshield wipe your feet side to side. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale it out. So a lot of times we, when we have Tense, tension in one body part, we think, oh, I really want to stretch out that body part. But sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes strengthening those muscles help a lot. So slowly begin to come into child's pose and stretch out all of those erector spinae muscles alongside of your your spine, all those important muscles in your back. Stretch them out. Breathe into your low back, breathe into mid back, breathe into upper back. Really, really important to be strong as well as flexible. And then go ahead and have a seat, please. And as you do, Extend your legs out to the side, flex the feet, take your fingertips forward, just pause here for a moment, press your heels down and your calves down and the buttocks down, sit tall for a moment, take a nice deep breath in and then bend your knees, please put your feet flat on the floor and walk your fingertips in between your legs. So now we're just going to slowly allow all those muscles in the back to stretch out. Drop the chin to your chest. Take a nice deep breath in. It's especially even more true with uh, keeping the back muscles strong and flexible, strong and flexible strong and flexible. So you can't just be flexible in your back. You can't just be strong. You want to be both, especially in the core muscles that include the back muscles. Bring the soles of your feet together, please. Baddha uh, Konasana, you can let the um, knees flutter open. Just breathe into your low back and then gently begin to come forward a little bit at a time. You can use your elbows to press your knees open, stretch out uh, the gluteus medius muscles and the adductor muscles on the outside of your thighs. 
abductors on the outside. Let the chin drop to your chest. And then gently come on all the way up. Bring that left heel close to your groin. Put your right foot in front of your left. And then just interlace your fingers or grab opposite wrist around the right shin as you lift the chest up. A nice deep breath in, exhale it out. And then now bring that right arm on the inside of the right leg and internally and externally open the shoulder. Next time your shoulder is internally rotated, bend that elbow back. You can reach the left arm up and back and see if you can find the fingertips. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale and twist to the left. So press the uh, base of the right big toe down. And if you don't, you can't find your fingertips, that's okay. Just find your shirt behind you, or if you have a towel, you can use a towel or a strap. Would be good too. And if it doesn't, if you want, to, if you don't want to do that, you can just keep the arms open. And then unwind, please. Switch to the other side. Bring that right heel in left foot in front of the uh, right foot and initially just sit tall. You want to squeeze the left hip, squeeze the knee, lift the chest up. Inhale. This is another way uh, if you have difficulty getting into malasana or yogi squat, this is a really good way to practice this. So it really compresses all the muscles that we want to compress, the hip, the knee, and the ankle. And um, at the same time, <clears throat> you're doing it one leg at a time, which makes it a little bit more accessible. Now take, turn, take that left arm on the inside, internal and external rotation of the shoulder, like you're turning your doorknob. Next time it's internally rotated, bend the elbow back. Maybe the right arm reaches back and you can find your fingertips. And if you can, you can just open the arms out to the side. And inhale, lift the chest and exhale and twist over to the right. And then just breathe into that low back. Nice deep inhalation and exhale. And then inhale, slowly unwind, come back to the center, please. Bring your knees together, put your feet flat on the floor. Go ahead and lay down on your back. Draw the knees to your chest, give your knees a tight squeeze. And then we're gonna do your favorite twist. So if you like to, you can cross the right knee on top of the left knee and just drop your knees over to the left. Or you can stack, or you can extend the legs, whatever your body is calling for. Or sometimes it feels good to take that left ankle on top of the right knee. So whatever is best for you right now. Close your eyes. Just deep inhalations and exhales. And then go ahead and switch sides. So whatever you did on this side, please repeat on the opposite side. Just let everything be and soft and smooth and relaxed. You worked some important muscles today, so really let yourself enjoy these few moments of relaxation and tuning in. If there's any other poses that you like to go to, please feel free to do that right now. 
If not, and if you're ready for Shavasana, I would suggest that you take a rolled up blanket and put it under your knees. Um, that really helps, especially because we work so much with the low back. Or you can always put blocks under your knees. Or if you have a bolster, put it under your knees. Or you can pile up a whole bunch of things and put it under your knees. But that really eases the low back. So let your knees be bent. Open your arms out to the side. And close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, really just drop in. Can you allow your body to just get really heavy all at once. Let yourself arrive this moment all at once. sensation, the tingling in your body. Feel your own heart beating. Maybe you can even hear your own breath. Just notice that all these sensations appear in our consciousness. Everything, all the thoughts, everything we think about, everything that we sense and feel is just an appearance in our consciousness. It's all one and the same. As you're ready, gently begin to deepen your breath. Draw one knee to your chest and then the other knee to your chest, please. Notice which nostril you're breathing out a little bit easier. Roll over to that side and pause for a moment. And then with the strength in your top arm, press yourself to a comfortable seat. As you come into a comfortable seat, bring your left hand on your chest, right hand on top of your left hand. And allow yourself to feel your heart in this moment. And as you do, what a beautiful thing that you did for yourself just this past 45 minutes, giving yourself this time and space. What a beautiful gift. What a rare gift it is to consider all the billions of people around the world. What a rare gift this is for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your practice. And this is truly a gift for me as well. Have a beautiful Valentine's Day and enjoy this day. Namaste.